Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I am finally bringing you my updated top 10 rainbow high dolls for 2023. The last time I did one of these was over a year ago and then I did the top 10 dolls that were released and purchased in 2022 back in December I believe it was but nothing like a standard top 10 video. So the dolls you're looking at are my honorable mentions and basically I have been wanting to do this for a while since I did the top 13 American girls in my collection and then I finally I was scrolling on YouTube and I saw ex canadensis Brooke did this and I was like well that gave me the like final push that I needed to actually do this. So I know I did top 13 for AG but we're strictly doing a top 10 for Rainbow High so I'll go over these girls briefly and why they are not actually in the top 10. I just looked at my shelf and I pulled off the ones that I know I think about all the time or I use all the time or you know just I don't know, spoke to me in that moment. So this list could definitely change like tomorrow, but this is what it is as of September 1st. So really quickly, I want to say this is just my opinion, okay? We can all have our own opinions because if we didn't, you guys know the motto here, if we had the same opinion, life would be pretty freaking boring. So what I'm looking at when I do this, yes, my little objective, like bias does kind of play a role but at the same time I'm thinking of how well the doll is executed upon release so if a doll has a beautiful base doll but both outfits in my opinion are bad and you had to dress her in a com another character's complete look or a mix of such then she probably will not make this list. Second outfits, like if they have a first or second outfit, you know, like if it, they only come with one outfit, I didn't really look too closely into that because it's basically just how the doll is displayed in box. But it's just kind of overall like how they look when you get them in the box. No restyling or customization plays a part in this. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go down the line of honorable mentions. I pulled 18 dolls. So these are our eight honorable mentions. We're going to start over on the far left, Winter Break Violet. You guys know she used to be my number one, I think two years ago, this summer they were released. I did everything with her. There was a point where I had three Winter Break Violets because I was just so obsessed with her. And you guys know, I don't really like Violet Willow as a character, but Violet Willow without bangs is like my favorite. I love her style but again you know time things have come and new things have been released and the brand has expanded and you know just things change next we've got Sabrina so Sabrina is the pink one of the oh my god what are they called rainbow divas I almost called them the royal divas I was like no so Sabrina has two of my favorite rainbow high outfits of all time I love her green eyes she's really pretty but again other dolls have come and kind of knocked her out of the top 10 then we've got Georgia Georgia has never I don't know if Georgia's actually ever been in my top 10 but she's always been there she's always a really cute contender I really love her a lot I don't do a lot with mine though because I want to keep her curls as intact as possible so Coco and Nicole are actually in the middle because they are two great examples of what heavily restyling a doll looks like so Coco beautiful base doll I love the vibrancy in her hair I love her warm brown eyes Coco was actually in Brooks honorable mentions and I was like I relate to this so much because I love Coco as a base doll um, but as you can see she is completely decked out in Uma Van Hoos pieces so I don't particularly like this outfit on Uma but I think it works really really well on Coco and then Nicole you guys know my little Ariana Grande Nicole's pieces are not my favorite and I don't like the way Nicole comes in the box but when you transform her into like this diva girly girl that she is today you definitely I've had a ton of people and still to this day if Nicole is featured in a video I have a ton of people compliment me on her and I'm like I you guys it wasn't even intentional so she has been changed a couple times but I always put her back in the Chanel outfit because it just seems to fit and then we have some pinks so there's there's a lot of pinks there was a lot of pinks when I pulled everybody down so um Bella that is costume ball Bella she is absolutely exquisite she was actually a gift from one of you so that makes her like super freaking special to me and she's Bella so Bella is the reason I collect rainbow high like doll wise and so I was like this is my favorite Bella doll but does she is she enough to make the top 10 unfortunately she was not and then at the end here we have Carla and Lola. Carla is actually wearing Lola's outfit. I love Carla's outfit so 
Carla does not have a bad first outfit. You'll see it's on another doll that actually made the top 10 list because some of them are wearing each other's pieces just for fun, you know, to mix things up, even though they may have really good outfits. So Carla is pretty. I just, I never bonded with her specifically. She is my favorite of her Shadow High Series 2 um, little group there, but I don't love her enough to put her in top 10. And Lola, Lola is wearing Mara Pinkette pieces, but Lola, gorgeous. I love that I took her hair down like that. I've often considered straightening it, but I like Lola with curls. She is beautiful. I really, really love her face mold. And she, she just missed it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Lola, Lola is basically spot 11. All right, so now we're gonna get into the seriousness and I'm scared to show you guys this because this took a lot of thinking and it like hurt my brain. Number 10 is Series 3 Cheryl. So she is the only Series 3 doll that actually made the top 10. Fun facts about Cheryl, when I got her, this doll and I had so much beef. Like I, her earring just fell out and it wouldn't go back in. So I just put her on the shelf and I didn't touch her for weeks. And yellow is actually a color that I don't like. So it's funny because a lot of my, you know, a lot of Rainbow High dolls in the color yellow, I actually do adore. So it's really funny, but I love both of her outfits. Now you can see the outfit she has on, it is hers with the exception of the top that belongs to Robin Sterling, but it's not, it's just a little bit of a mix, a mixing and matching thing because I needed, I needed her super long shirt actually for my Monster High G3 Frankie. So. Um, Cheryl's outfits have always been two of my absolute favorites. I really love Cheryl's brown eyes. I think they did a really good thing with the restyling of the original Cheryl because she basically was just Bella Parker in yellow. So I think that they did something really awesome when they completely restyled her. Yes, I know there's some clueless reference, believe it or not, I haven't seen that movie, but I think Cheryl is just really beautiful. A lot of her pieces can be used super like versatile and I just, is that even a word? I don't know, but I've always loved Cheryl. I think she's gone back and forth on my top 10 list for a while and I love Cheryl so much. I actually commissioned, um, Mia to make mini Kyla out of a Cheryl base. So if you've seen my mini me rainbow high doll, she is actually a Cheryl base. So I felt like, you know what? I have to put Cheryl on this list because she's always been a yellow doll specifically that I love and I think about a lot. And you know, I, I kind of modeled myself after her. So she's vastly important. <laughs> In ninth place, we have series four, Mina Fleur. So Mina was actually in my last top 10 list, uh, believe it or not. So she, the only thing, the only bad thing I have to say about this doll is that she fell victim to the flat feet thing, but I've never used the flat feet. I love every single one of her pieces. I think I have her in a combination of first and second outfit, or I could be wrong, but I seriously love everything about her. Her face is just so, like for lack of a better word, warm and inviting. Just her whole color palette is just gorgeous. And I remember being like super enchanted with her when I first saw her and then her character is so fun. And then, you know, she had like her own little song and everything during Rainbow Vision. And she was just one that they kind of developed a little bit more than some other characters that we've seen. But the doll overall is very nice. I will say I love those gold pants. The first outfit of gold pants look incredible on Marissa. And Marissa is a doll that I love to death, but her outfits are atrocious. So she didn't make the list, but if you put her in Mina's clothes, she looks pretty darn good. So Mina definitely is also super unique because she was the first doll to come with a ton of bracelets and hair accessories. So I do split up her bracelets and hair accessories among the girls. So that's why she's not like wearing a ton of her actual jewelry. But I think honestly, if memory serves me right, she is probably the rainbow high doll that comes with the most jewelry. Now there's, I don't know that for sure, but I just thinking back on it and Mina is just so pretty. I love her so much. And she, she's not the only series four doll on this list, but I will give you a hint that she is one of two series four dolls that made the list. If you know me, you're probably freaking out and you're probably like, Kyla, have you been abducted? Are you okay? Why is this doll at number eight? This is Simone Summers from Pacific Coast. And Simone has consistently been like in my top two or three dolls ever since PC was released. This doll completely like just changed my outlook on the Pacific Coast line and then I realized that that entire doll line is incredible. The two things that hinder Simone, one, 
she also fell victim to the flat feet and two her only outfit is beach wear so as you can see these are not her pieces but i didn't restyle her because her pieces are bad because simone has a beautiful color scheme and her color story is just gorgeous and it all works so well together but because for my personal collection i don't really want them wearing their beach wear she has been restyled that's georgia's top and an omg skirt but her outfit isn't bad so again this does not fall into the criteria of beautiful base doll terrible outfits i just restyle simone just because beach wear is not for my personal collection so simone's face mold is my favorite rainbow high face mold really quickly with my vision i cannot tell the difference between a lot of the face molds so i think she has it i think lily and tiara have it and i believe possibly lola but again even if i put them next to each other i still i couldn't be able to tell so you guys have been really helpful in understanding about that so i seriously appreciate it but simone basically just looks evil and that's part of the reason why i love her i don't know how much longer she's going to be able to hang on though but she really did make the list because overall like execution wise she's gorgeous she's stunning in the box and all of her pieces are super beautiful and pretty and they do really you know scream sunrise i almost said sunset but that is phaedra so she's beautiful a lot of sentimental attachment to this doll like i said i don't know how much longer she's going to be able to hang on but she quickly went from like top three all the way to spot eight so i that was a big jump my friends spot seven we have mini Choi from the royal three so mini Poor Minnie here has consistently been in the bottom of every top 10 list she's been in, but it's not a bad thing again because this is top 10. So Minnie was the one from her line I thought I would love the most. Spoiler alert, she's in the middle. So she's wearing Carla's clothes, but that's not because Minnie's outfits are bad. I love, I freaking love Minnie Choi's outfits. I think that she has the best outfits out of the three in her little trio. She's just so cute. I love her little heart on her face. And correct me if I'm wrong, did Minnie like even do anything or was she just kind of like there because I mean that's fine with me I love her uh yeah her first outfit is my favorite the second outfit's cute but the first one oh my gosh with the skirt and the boots like you are just fantastic she's adorable I love her I think the royal three overall as a trio were really really well done and to be completely honest with you out of those three trios that were released for the rainbow vision you know I think that the royal three were done the best not to say the other six dolls were bad because I own all of them. Do I own all of them? I do. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to double check. Sorry. Um, I loved all nine of those dolls, but definitely the Royal Three. Um, two out of the three of them really spoke to me, but cohesively as a group, they all did really well. Minnie has just been always like just a super cute pink doll. And I love her and I love her name. She's just a really cute doll and her face is really pretty. And I love, like I said, her outfits and, you know, to avoid me rambling and repeating the same thing, we're going to move on to the next spot. Priscilla Perez takes the number six spot. Now, let me explain why, because I did not want her initially. And you're probably thinking, what? She's a pink doll. Like you have every pink doll known to man which is true um but i comparing her to the rest of the dolls in her series five lineup she was very mid for me i think i ranked her overall out of the six i think i ranked her five which is crazy to me but i saw her at the store and i was like all right no i just need you because you're a pink doll my opinion of her completely changed and i fell in love with her from day one i have not washed her hair out because i really really like her curls her outfit is actually super awesome and her shoes let me lift her up so you guys can see her shoes are some of my favorites like the shoes just made me fall in love with the doll like i i cannot explain to you how incredible her outfit is and like i love this i don't know if i would ever put this on any other oops any other rainbow high doll like it's just so priscilla and she's very like i don't know she's just She's a doll that definitely grows on you, but once she has grown on you, you are completely in love and you're very, very hooked on her. And I just, I really appreciate that other collectors are falling in love with Priscilla as much as I have, because I thought I was kind of alone on that front, but I actually am not. And she was one of the first ones I thought of when I made this list and considering that she was a doll that i did not want and now she's at spot six in my top 10 in my entire collection right now that's craziness to me so i always you know 
I will rank the dolls because that's what we do in first impression and leaks videos, but then my ranking definitely changes as I see them in stores and then it definitely changes as I buy them and unbox them. So my opinions on certain dolls definitely can change and they completely have. So I'm always willing to give a doll a chance. If they don't appeal to me in the store though, I really don't want to go ahead and buy them. But Priscilla, she just really caught my attention and I'm so, so glad that I picked her up. Victoria Whitman from series five starts off our top five. Yes, she does. Okay. So when I first saw series five leaks, you guys know, like she's a pink girl in this house. I know some people say she's um, yellow, but she's displayed with the pinks. I adore her. I think her outfit is super unique. The top, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. When I got her and I like washed her hair and stuff, I struggled with the top, but maybe that's just like blind collector probs. But I love this doll. Obviously, I think the most notable thing is she has full body freckles, which we have not seen yet. And I remember that was a big thing when um, she was released. I do have some freckles, but not a ton like this. But a lot of people told me they're like, she looks like you. And I was like, she honestly does. But um, I still had my mini me made. But like if I didn't, Victoria would be mini Kyla and even like the outfit and everything. It's just so me. She is completely 1 million percent my vibe. I love her. She actually grows on me every single day. I I just, I mean, what can you say? Like she's a pink doll and she looks like me. So like, what else am I gonna do with my life? You know, she's beautiful. I really, really adore her face and look at her little earrings. She's so cute and just, I don't know. She's adorable. I think I got a pretty good one. She came off Amazon, so I didn't actually like hand pick her, but I do think about her a lot and she's a lot different than like a lot of the other pink dolls because you have the super vibrant shades of pink, you have the super dark shades of pink, and then she's just very like light and fluffy. She kind of reminds me a little bit of Sabrina St. Cloud. So I really, really love her. And another thing I wanted to note is Victoria has like a different hairstyle that I don't think we've seen before. So she's got this braid. I've been able to keep it intact because your girl can't braid very well, especially on the super tiny dolls. So she has this beautiful little braid and I love this doll so, so much. And if I remember correctly, I got some specific variant of her and my comment section went nuts. I think it has to do with her dark eyebrows. I can't remember exactly, but that is one of my favorite things about her. I didn't even realize I got a variant until you guys started freaking out. And I was like, okay, cool. Like I, this is the second time it's happened to me and I didn't know I got a variant. So that's really awesome. I love Victoria. I think she can definitely climb the ladder and get to that like top three spot. Number four, again, series five, Olivia Woods. I always want to call her Olivia Wilde. So did you ever think that you would see a green doll on this list, let alone in the top half of the list? Probably not. Green is my least favorite color. This doll, however, I waited so long for a rainbow high doll to have the name of my cat. So Olivia is actually behind me. She's here. Like, why do you keep saying my name? Uh, so this is my cat as a rainbow high doll. But basically, if my cat was a rainbow high doll, she would look like Victoria just with Olivia's name. But anyway, that's not important. This is the best green doll. I love this shade of green. Before this doll, Jewel was my favorite green doll. And it hurt me not putting Jewel on this list. But I was like, Olivia has completely like taken the crown. I love her so much. Her outfit is so well done. I'm not really a big fan of like camouflage and stuff, but like the way, hold on, I'm trying to zoom in for you guys. Just the way that it's done. And I know it's not like specifically camouflage, but it's kind of like mimicking that look. She just, there's so many cool things about her and her boots. Oh, these are so fun. They're so cute. And I just really, really adore her. And okay, yes. So the past three dolls we've looked at, I think it was just the past three. Yes, they have not had second outfits. But again, that doesn't play a role because I'm just kind of judging on how they come in the box. But this was, this series for the most part was a good example as to if you get rid of the second outfits, you could have more detailed first outfits. Now I say for the most part, but it's fine. I only, the three dolls you've seen are the only ones I own from this series, but they had some of the best, most well-developed Rainbow High outfits I have ever seen. Another good example of that, um, Monique comes to mind as well. She did not make this list, I'm sorry, but her dress was so cool. But Olivia has just, I, yes, I'm obsessed with her like for sentimental reasons, but she was the first one I wanted, which was so crazy because you always think, okay, Kyla's gonna want the pink one first. 
obviously not and there were two pink dolls in this lineup and the green one just completely blew me away and I got her with Olivia or her with Victoria sorry I ordered them both on Amazon so they're they're really special I love them so so much I could not wait to pick them out in stores I did get really lucky and Olivia like I said with Victoria I think Olivia could be one that climbs the ladder as well I love them I do consider them kind of a pair I didn't mean to rank them next to each other but I think I kind of to me they're very much a pair <laughs> if you know me or you've been here for a while these next three probably will come as no shock this is tiara song yes she is restyled but that is only to make her look more like a princess i think her two outfits are absolutely exquisite the first one is my favorite but the second one has a lot of interesting things because it is a three-piece set however i don't like the fact that like the jacket there's only one sleeve so you can't really do a ton with it but her first outfit oh just it's the skirts and the boots for me with her and Minnie. i just i love them so tiara was actually my was she no i don't think she was one of my favorites that i purchased in 22 I think okay I'm really like trying to go back I'm getting old please forgive me but I don't like purple very much but some again a lot of things rainbow high has completely changed my outlook on a ton of colors like even yellow purple and green and they're just like things completely change so tiara is she's got that face full that I love I love it she's she's beautiful she's stunning again the royal three were very very well flushed out and everything was just exquisite executed perfectly there were so many details and they were just a really really core like solid group the three of them and tiara she's just she's the best and as cliche as it is her name is tiara and she comes with the tiara so i just wanted to make her look like more of a princess but everything about her is just like 10 out of 10 gorgeous and like i said even though the second outfits aren't counting in this ranking she does have a really cool unique one that you're probably never going to forget because like i said it's that three-piece set and it's like it, it comes with a really unique piece and a bodysuit you can definitely do a lot with so tiara has a lot she's got a lot going for her and honestly she she fought really really hard to break into the top two nobody's done it yet i don't know if tiara can but she's been she's been pretty steady at um number three for a while now i want you all to know that no natasha zimas were harmed in the making of this film what i mean by that is she's not number one anymore <laughs> um natasha is the only shadow high doll that made this top 10 list and she is my favorite shadow high doll to ever exist i have two of her only because one got stained and then i freaked out and then went to target that day to buy another one because i was sad i love this doll i love her character she's my little angel she is so beautiful she looks great in like super deep reds but we don't talk about that because that's the dress that stained my original one so I just keep her in her little white clothes because I don't want anything to stain her so she yes okay you could argue she's boring her dress looks like chicken feathers she's basic I don't like her okay cool that's totally fine I'm aware this doll has so many haters out there and I don't care I am the biggest Natasha freaking Zima fan ever she just oh my god she is so fun and if you think about it she's the original kind of the original color and create doll because like all of her clothes you can definitely dye and do things with as well as her hair now people are probably gonna say well amaya was the original color and create doll no like yes but no natasha you can literally do anything with every single one of her pieces and i think her name is beautiful she's like i said she's just she's my little snow angel she's beautiful and i i take my other one a lot of places because this is my display one now this one is the one with the hair that i took out and everything but she's my display one i love her so much i can't you guys like oh my god you are beautiful and if i could own just an entire shelf of natasha's i would do that i would be that person but you're probably wondering so i usually rank rainbow and shadow separate some a lot of the times so i always say like this doll would be number one for shadow which would be natasha and then this doll that you're gonna see next would be number one for rainbow but i don't think i've ever had to pit them against each other and i think 
I think right now, since we're coming off of summer vibes, and as you can tell, I'm clearly very into Rainbow High right now. I think my number one pick at the moment made sense. Natasha could be back. If we do this in the winter, Natasha could very well be back at number one. I don't know, but just know that she is forever my number one Shadow High doll. Number one, my favorite, my girl, my queen, Delilah Fields, this doll. I've got two of her, okay? So if I like a doll, and I can get multiple of them, I will. This Delilah is extra special because she was a surprise gift from one of you and the restyle that the subscriber did is just completely gorgeous. And when I say restyle, I mean her hair and then basically her little pieces because it's like a combination of outfits. So she was a complete surprise. And my other one actually has messed up lips because I was paying attention to the eyes and not the lips. So I'm very happy to have a pristine Delilah. My other one's my travel companion. So basically this doll and I are like one in the same for like a ton of reasons, but Delilah is important because first rainbow high doll with, okay, are you ready for this list? Glasses, gray eyes, white freckles, and she is an albino, which is huge. I personally have never seen a doll like this. I don't know if they exist. I've never seen a doll like this, but I think it is just one of the coolest things I have ever seen. Series four was very, very cool for the level of diversity and Jewel always comes to mind with her vitiligo. I've never seen a doll like that either. So between Jewel and Delilah, it was already just completely, they nailed it. And then of course you have Leela and Mina. And then who else was in that series? Oh my God, I own them all. Coco, are you in that series? You are. Okay, and then, oh God, Mila. We don't talk about Mila because her outfit stains things. But Delilah, oh my gosh, I I want more Rainbow High Dolls with the white freckles and the gray eyes because I think that is so, so cool. She has one of the cutest, most, you know, just warm and fuzzy styles, the cute little cottage core vibe with all the daisies. I love it. I love it so much. Delilah also is a creative writing focus and... I'm a creative writer so I mean I think I'm pretty creative but I'm a writer and so like Delilah is just so cool and I love the pop of red with her lips I I knew she was going to be my number one because like I said we're coming off of summer going into fall still in the warm cozy seasons Natasha's probably going to be our little winter lady but that's fine Natasha I mean Delilah oh my gosh you guys she is just one of the cutest rainbow high dolls still to this day she's absolutely phenomenal and if you don't have her and you can find her here let me fix this a little bit um if you don't have her i'm so sorry you guys if you don't have her and you can find her please get her and she also comes with like a secret third outfit so basically i'm gonna move the camera again i'm so sorry please don't hate me she has like so the skirt she's got on right now is actually underneath her dress so she has like a little white top and a little like slip skirt underneath. So she comes with like three outfits. Like dude, who does that? Delilah Fields does that. There you have it, my updated Rainbow High ranking for 2023. It is September 1st, so I'll probably edit this and you will probably see this the day it was filmed or the day after, I'm not entirely sure. Keep in mind, this was all just my opinion and my opinions definitely can change and we all don't need to have the same opinion. It's okay if they're just dolls, nobody needs to get offended. I know that sounds harsh, but some people just need to hear that. And it's funny, looking at these, Natasha literally was the only doll from Shadow High that made the top 10. Now the top 18, I also pulled Carla and Lola. So like 15 Rainbow High and only three Shadow High, I don't know, but again, there's not as many Shadow Highs. So I'm hoping series three can really, you know, like really impress me, but I think they're gonna need a lot of restyling, so I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out. I am planning on getting Series 3 Shadow High, not all of them, and I am planning on getting the Runway dolls, not all of them either, but definitely there are Rainbow High dolls to come in the future, but I'm kind of waiting for some sales, you know, just to keep it, you know, we're, we're budgeting here on the channel. But anyway, let me know down below what your current top 10 Rainbow High Dolls are. I would love to know you guys. This is so much fun. I love seeing everybody's opinions and rankings. Just remember, keep it polite and respectful to myself and each other in those comments down below. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam, and tap that really cool notification bell to know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye, everybody.